getting a dozen more ponies out of an 88 inch cubic motor by changing your exhaust? Impossible, right? Well, Vance and Hines will put their reputation on the line to prove me wrong. Will they pass a test or will it all blow up under pressure? I don't have to dyno it, but I'm that kind of guy, so show me. When John Potts from Vance and Hines told me to bring my 2001 night train for a performance upgrade, I was curious to see what he had in mind. You know, in 2001, a night train was just a badass bike, and it's still a badass bike, and I love it. You know, when I got this thing, it's all blacked out, it's killer. Uh, it's still bone stock, and I ride it every day, 37,000 miles on it. So when you told me I can add some pipes and a fuel pack to it and get some ponies out of an 88-inch motor, I have to tell you, I'm skeptical, and I know a lot of people at home are skeptical. So what are we going to prove here? Well, Jay, today we've got the dyno, we've got the exhaust system, the air and the fuel, and we're going to prove it to you. This bike is going to perform with the new Pro Pipe, with the stepped headers, the oversized collector. It's going to perform. You're going to really enjoy the rideability out of this bike. Bottom line, we're going to show you the ponies on the dyno. So I've got nothing else to say. Baseline dyno this one time, and then we're going to take it, put the stuff on, baseline dyno it again, and you're going to show me an improvement. Absolutely. Let's bust it. John, it's not that I don't believe you, pal, but you're promising an awful lot, my friend. All right, John, so everything on this table is going to breathe life, so make some big horsepower out of my 88-inch motor with 37,000 miles on it. That's right. This, so what do we got here, starting at the front? We've got the Vance and Hines VO2 air intake with the Drac cover will dramatically improve the horsepower just with that. Then we've got our fuel pack to calibrate the fuel injection. So the fuel pack's manual. We're just going to adjust that. You guys are going to adjust it it's with directions. It's a dyno tune map that will get plugged right into your motorcycle. Okay. And then we have the complete brand new Pro Pipe Chrome with the stepped headers and oversized collector with the blueproof megaphone to make that thing perform. All right, so we're going to put that on the bike and we're going to dyno it again and we're going to see where we end up. Good 10% increase, Jay, guaranteed. 10%, 10%. Guaranteed. I, I gotta see 10%. This bike dynoed at 65 horsepower and 71 foot-pounds of torque. So some quick math, we have to be over 71 horsepower. No problem. And 77 foot-pounds of torque for you to actually win this bet. I got it. You got it. I got it in the bag. You got no it, 10%, over Absolutely. 10%. Show me. Stock bike, 65.36 horsepower. After the dyno run, oh man, 76.49. Nice, almost 20%. Yeah, all right, you won 12, that one. Almost 12 horsepower gain. All right, let's check out the torque. Stock bike, 70.96. After the dyno run, 81.53. Nine and a half foot pounds of torque. That's well over 10%. You proved your point. You called me out. Well, most importantly, we're making your, new, your old bike run like new. Yeah, well, you're making my old bike run better than new. Three things, quick change, big horsepower. I would have never believed it. I mean, everybody says to me, there's no way you can do that without doing motor work. And this is like just a grand to do. I mean, you can do this at home for a thousand bucks and you've got major, major increase in horsepower on an 88 inch motor. All right, so John Potts here, yes, has won the bet and I will make sure that I bet him something I know I can win next time. It's no fair, he works here. 65.3 sec. <laughs> now my night train's ready for another 37,000 miles. I'm just going to get there a little quicker. Oh, I missed the start. Okay. 